we have some word problems here and what we have to do is we have to uh, tell or express the answer of this word problem in terms of algebraic expression. So the first one is the length of a rectangular hall is 4 meters. The length of a rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall. Listen again. The length of a rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall. What is the length if the breadth is b meters? Now clearly this is a question of algebraic expression because you can see that we have assumed here the breadth as b meters. Now this b is what is a variable. So b is the breadth of the rectangular hall and the condition that has been given here is the length of a rectangular hall is 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth of the hall. What is the length if the breadth is b meters? So length will be length will be 4 meters less than 3 times the breadth. So what is the 3 times breadth? 3 b and it is 4 meters less than this one. So 3b minus 4 meters. 3b minus 4 meters will be the length of the hall. The second one is here. A rectangular box height is x centimeter. Its length is 5 times the height and breadth is 10 cm less than the length. Express the length and breadth of the box in terms of the height. Again, it is a question of problem of algebra. Why? Because we have assumed here h centimeter and clearly it's a variable. So height is what? Height has been assumed as h centimeter. Now, what's, what has been given here? Its length is 5 times the height and breadth is 10 cm less than the length. So the length is, the length is, the length is 5 times the height. So 5 times the height means 5 h cm. And breadth is 10 cm less than the length. Express the length and the breadth of the box in terms of the height. So for length it will be 5 h cm. And for breadth, for breadth, it will be 10 cm less than the length. So 5 h minus 10 cm. A, B and C are climbing the steps to the hill top. Okay. So if, if this is if this is the hill top, right, and A, B, C, they all are climbing to the hill top. A is at step S. Suppose at any moment, A is somewhere at step S. Let's say that A is here. And how many steps he has taken? S steps. Okay, B is 8 steps ahead and C 7 steps behind. So if B is, let's say it's here, let's say that B is here and B is what? 8 steps ahead. So this will be S plus 8. C 7 steps behind. So if A was a took s steps, b will take 7 plus x, 8 steps and in this case it's telling c is 7 steps behind. So c will be s minus, because it's s minus 7. What are, where are b and c? So clearly b is at s plus 8 and c is at s minus 7. Okay, at this particular moment when? 
these conditions have been given. The total number of steps to the hill top is 10 less than 4 times what A has reached. The total number of steps to the hilltop, total number of steps to the hilltop, let's say that this is the hilltop, is 10 less than 4 times what A has reached. So how many steps, what steps A has reached? A has reached S steps. So what will be 4 times what A has reached? Of course, this will be 4S. And the total number of steps to the hilltop is 10 less than 4 times that A has reached. 10 less than 4 times what A has reached. Express the total number of steps using S. So this is the total number of steps to the top hill. Again, how we did this? 4S because it's given 4 times what A has reached and this should be less than, uh, uh, it should be 10 less than 4s, the total number of steps towards the top hill. A bus travels at v, kilo, v kilometer per hour. It's going from A to B. It's going from A to B. So if this is A position and this is B position and let's say that this is our bus okay it's going from A to B and it's traveling at V kilometer per hour okay this is the speed after the bus has traveled 5 hours bus has traveled 5 hours b is still 20 km away so let's say that after 5 hours bus has reached here to this position at this is at at after 5 hours after 5 hours b is still 20 km away that means that this distance this distance from here is still 20 kilometer right from this this is the position of the bus after 5 hours and so the distance between this position that at 5 hours and the b is still 20 kilometer what is the distance from a to b express it using v so what we have to tell is the distance between a to b and how will we do this? So we know this distance, but we don't know this distance, right? That's but that's not a, a big problem. Why? Because we know that distance distance is equal to speed times time. Speed times time. So if the speed is V kilometer per hour times time is 5 hours right V kilometer per hour and time is 5 hours so this will give us this distance how much it will be it will be 5 V kilometer because these are same units, so same units will always get cancelled. 5 V times uh, V kilometer times that is 5, so 5 V kilometer will be the distance. So this distance from here to here is 5 V kilometer. So what is the total distance from A to B? The total distance will be total distance will be 5v plus 20 kilometer this will be the distance 